It is, but this also might be a cover. Now I'm going to look it up. Okay, Beggin is a song composed by Bob Gaudio and Peggy Farina and first released as a single by American band The Four Seasons in 1967. So this is probably the closest version because this is Frankie Valli in The Four Seasons. I don't know when this came out though. The cover makes it look like it came out in like the 90s. Oh. May 1st, 1967. Okay, so this is the original. Um, so the original is from Frankie, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Mad Con, Chris Lake, and Monoskin all did covers of it. A lot of people fucking love the Monoskin one. I just, I grew up with the Mad Con version in one of the, one or two of the Step Up movies. And I fucking loved the Step Up movies, like listening to the music and like watching the movies. I would, <laughs> because I'm a, like, empathetic viewer, I get really into what the people are doing. So sometimes if there's, like, dance scenes and I'm really enjoying the movie, my foot will twitch as if my body wants to get up and start doing the dance moves, but I fucking know I can't do them. <laughs> like, especially not the ones from Step Up. Are you kidding me? I can't do that shit. I don't have the coordination whatsoever. But yeah, I... Those are good movies. Those are really good. That's cool. Okay. Oh, it's just restarting the song because I'm not... Okay. Uh, no. We're not listening to World God Man. Gone Mad. Again, Bright is such an underrated movie. Love that movie. I wish I got a second movie like it was supposed to, but it's okay. Okay, we are... Ooh, shit. Uh... Oh, you guys can't see... Hold on. You guys can't see my bar at the bottom. I might have to... Yeah, that's fucked up. Okay. Say or something you do, the taste of the divine. Got my body, flesh and bone, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you see it slide to the side? What the fuck was that shit? Don't stop that. What the fuck is going on? to see the other side okay I think I figured it out but we're gonna have these black bars on the sides hold on okay we'll figure it out some I'll figure it out off stream at some point but at least this way you can see the bars at the bottom and shit okay let's do the tutorial quick. The Meemaw residence. <laughs> Meemaw. I'm at your house. I hope you got cookies waiting for me. That'd be sweet. That'd be fucking sick. Oh, <clears throat> he's casually punched the ground. No big deal. I keep trying to run with R, but that's not... That's not sprint in this game. Sprint a shaft. There we go. Um. Okay, let's make our bed roll. Place it quick, pick back up. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. I was watching Julian Solomita's stream of playing this the other day. I think it was yesterday, actually. It was such a it was such a tough watch. 
Because Julian's a very chaotic player, and it had been years since he played the game, so he forgot majority of, like, what you're supposed to do, how the game works, yada yada. And also, because it was a while since he's played, this game updates all the time. Um, and they've been doing a lot of big updates, especially lately. So, f the fact that he hasn't played in a while, um, means a lot. And... So he's bumbling around, not really sure what to do, which is totally fine. But he was making fuck-ups that were viscerally upsetting me. Because it was like, see how it pops up this text right here? He wouldn't see it when he was doing shit. So like, it... Oh, a bunny ran into one of the spikes. Anyway, so it'll be like, your lockpick broke when you're picking a lock, right? And he wouldn't see it. So he was picking a lock and the lockpick broke and he's like, what the fuck? What happened? Where'd my lockpick go? And then it tells you when you when you get extremely thirsty or hungry that your stamina decreases and then also your stamina regen decreases, like it slows. And it would tell him because he was so extremely hungry and extremely thirsty and he wasn't reading it. And then he and his, he and his two friends he was playing with were all like, why are we so slow? What's going on? It's because they were fucking starving and they were dehydrated as fuck. And none of them were paying attention to the bars or the text, so they didn't know. And, like, it made me very upset, because I'm like, just read the text, it's right there! Like, hell, I would have read it just as a what-the-fuck-why-is-this-on-my-screen type of thing, not even a, like, oh, I need this, you know? It was just, it was upsetting. <laughs> I haven't even finished that... I haven't finished that uh, stream yet because it's just it's it's a tough one for me. I love his gameplay. I love the way he plays because it can be so funny. But holy shit! And there were only like two people in chat that were telling him sometimes why things were happening, what he was doing wrong. Like I would have been in chat every five seconds, like, "Oh, you need to do this and this and this," because this is like my special interest game. This is my current hyperfixation. This is a repeated hyperfixation. Someone messing up as badly as him was making me very sad. <laughs> I need another stone. Or are you really here to cut me off? Or maybe just to turn me on? Cause these days I would be lying if I told you that I didn't wish that I could be your man Or maybe make a good girl bad I've got a river running right into you I've got a blood trail red in the blue Something you say or something you do the taste of the divine. But yeah, because I was watching his stream, I learned that if you hit zombies with a torch, you have a percentage chance of lighting them on fire. So that's the only reason I'm keeping the torch, whereas I would usually toss it. Oh, there's a, vi there's a town right there. A town or a city. I don't know which. Uh, Yeah, I can't tell. I want to find, like... I want to find, like, one more, um, nest. So I gave you my religion, but that wasn't enough. Is this everything you wanted? On my knees praying for your love.
We'll probably only play this until like the end of day one or something, just because the days can be kind of long. Or well, the nights can be long because there's not a lot to do, but. Okay, I have eight arrows that I'll have to do. I mean, this place is unrated, which means very likely I won't need too many arrows anyway. Sorry, I'm making the music very quiet because I need to focus. Oh, that's like a... Oh, that's an amazing early game. Find a cooking pot? Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah. Shit. Okay. That's fine. I'll have to go out and get more plant fibers after this. I was gonna make a spear, but I don't have the plant fibers. Spear's better than the club. Because it gives you some distance. Solid. Damn, I took her head right off. Oh, okay, so I could have gone through here, or I went through the hole. I chose the hole. <laughs> There's a hole in the bathroom. That's a fake floor. There's something under under it. I gotta be, care I gotta be careful, too, because the sign outside... So this place is condemned. Like, usually that sign means that the floor can break out from underneath you and shit. Because it's unsafe. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, nobody in here. There's probably only gonna be like a couple other zombies in here because like I said, this place is unrated. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm staying away from the carpet. I don't trust it. I'm gonna, like, thoroughly inspect this place after. Those usually have guys on them, too, so I'll have to keep an eye out. I don't want to be in there with several of them. What is he hitting? He's just a little confused. Oh, he's hitting the- he's hitting one of the doors down the hall. Oh, while I'm out here, I'm gonna make the spear so I can give more distance between me and him. 
He was running. I can't tell if that was because he's a lumberjack or if that was because he's feral. Either way, I want distance. Still got my arrow in him. Gotcha, bitch. Someone's still hitting something in there. Or walking around. I kind of want them to just break through. So I can know where they are. I'm a... I'm a scaredy cat, okay? <laughs> this is where you find out. I play scary games, but I'm a scaredy cat. I play them with other people for a reason. <laughs> We're definitely staying here tonight, by the way. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna... It's one. Is she outside? Where is she? She broke through something and then immediately started hitting something else. I don't know where she is. Ooh, also there's wood. There's also a lot of doors she could potentially be hitting right now. No clue which one. I'm just gonna say fuck it and go back in and see if I can find her. If she hits me, she hits me. If I... Here, I think her walking around. Wait, is that hole there? Oh, she's just fucking hitting the wall for whatever reason. Okay, interesting. I might be assuming incorrectly, but I'm assuming because no others are jumping out at me at, while I'm walking around here. I'm assuming there are no others. Yeah, this is where she was. Or no, no, this is just another door. I was like, this is where she was hitting. No, it's not. <laughs> it's very much not. That was incorrect. Armor crafting skill. Cool. I'll probably hole up in one of these rooms for the night. Because downstairs isn't crazy... Like, safe. Because it's got holes and shit. Ooh, tank top. Don't mind if I do. Break all the photos, even if it makes me sad. <laughs> Just in case there's shit hiding behind it. Anything? No. Oh, this doesn't even make it super safe up here either, because they could come up through that. Well, mm, that's not too bad. I'll probably stay in this room. I don't know. Let me get a couple more building blocks going so I can climb up to the like ceiling when I'm done. Uh, ooh, improves food crafting skill. Got murky water, some more food. I typically throw away the scrap polymer, but now I know that you now that I know that I need a shit ton for the water collector I'm gonna not throw it away ooh I can make a bone knife cool another cooking pot what are the fucking chances you need the cooking pot to be able to like boil water which is like the big thing can I sell these maybe I shouldn't be picking them all up to find out I can't alright I'll scrap them for wood I guess why not 
Uh, I'm not seeing anything great down here. Close. Slightly better than my current close. I'll take it. Uh, another skirt. For some reason, my other skirt was worse. Ooh, a football helmet. That's cool. Aw, uh, decreases my stamina. Alright. I have to up my stamina anyway, early game, so I guess I won't. I guess I won't be too upset by it. Ooh, a puffer coat. Where? Uh, we don't need that. Ooh, thank you. Okay, we have everything, right? Got everything up here, got everything down here, cool. Let's go upstairs, climb up to this, like, upper layer, if possible. Ooh, there's a bag up here. Let's go. Nothing in there. Anything good? Uh, ooh, another home cooking book. Rocket launcher parts. Eh, it's not great, but it's not bad. Okay. We're gonna stay in this room. Lock up the door. What? Oh, it's because they're... I don't like that. Because I'm gonna be like... Well, I'm not going to be putting out any noise or anything, so that should be fine. Okay. We're going to set up shop here for now. Perfect. I can hide over here. Yay! I have points. We're going to cook the water we found now. And then... Can I cook a baked potato? I think I can. I don't know how good a baked potato is, though. Perfect. Cook. Uh, mm. You can probably scrap that. Drop. I've got some more food and shit, so that's good. Uh, okay. I'm not going to take anything out of my inventory and put it in, like, a box or anything here. Just because, uh, I'm planning on probably moving into that town. I figure that makes more sense. Just so that we're like closer to the places that we'll be looting, so. While we wait for that to cook. Let's see about points. <laughs> Back mule. Uh, iron Gut. Level 1 Cardio. I really don't get hit very often. Um, ooh, gain 1 health every 35 seconds with natural healing. Selfie. Okay. I'll get it. Why not? Not in your face. Don't you look good in red. Slay your devils. Kill them all. Let's make the bone knife. There we go. I don't think I saw anything else nearby. I might be able to find some stragglers outside, though. Possible. I'm assuming I spawned in that, like... In the big ass green area. Like, I ended up primarily in the forest. So, I don't know where the, um, whatchamacallit, where the snow and shit is. It looked like snow was pretty much like the main dividing line between the forest and the other biomes. There's a lady by my box. Cool. Uh, 
I could maybe make that, but I'm not gonna try. I will kill this guy, though. Fuck. There we go. There's another guy over here. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a town. I'm not seeing any skyscrapers. Which is good. I'd prefer a town. Cities are a lot to handle in general. Oh, that's what I was missing. Okay, I was like, why do I feel like I'm missing something out of these like beginner or like basic crafting items? It's because I typically have iron in that stack and I don't I didn't find any and I haven't like mined any yet because I haven't needed any. That's why. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick off these stragglers because it's only one and it'll help with leveling up. I'm assuming that mountain off in the distance is part of the snow biome, but I might be wrong. I just sent her into the ground, bro. Not even in a like, haha, you're dead kind of way. Like a literally halfway into the ground kind of way. I'm just gonna follow this for a little bit. Oh. Yummy. Ooh, six? Don't mind if I do, bro. Okay, looks like the path forks off. I was expecting more like garbage on the trail and shit. Oh, there's a big guy. Oh, two big guys. Twins! He's uphill, so I'm trying to like. That took, what, six hits? You heard me killing your buddy, didn't you? There's a nurse there, too. Shit. His head was cut off. Was she just acting like I hit her, or did I actually hit her? This definitely didn't seem like I hit her. There we go. Damn, look at that. I'm already over, just a little bit over halfway toward level 2. Beautiful. Okay, let's take this path back. I don't want to get too far. Oh. Is this going to be the third guy? Oh, no. Oh, he's in different clothes. Okay, I was gonna say, is this gonna be the third guy in a suit I've killed today? The answer is no. There we go. Okay. There were so many rocks along the path. Go back to Meemaw's house. The Meemaw residence. I, I love thinking that someone would have the last name Meemaw. That is just hilarious to me. I'm gonna block that up just for peace of mind. Is my water done? 
No, it is not. What the fuck? <laughs> Hot. I want to have as many arrows as possible. Did I lose a cube? I had three. What happened? Did I not pick up one? No, I did. What? Okay. I'm gonna make a couple more cubes then. Because I like to use the those to get out of, like, unexpected holes that I end up in, so. Put that egg up here. I'm definitely keeping the duct tape. I need, like, five duct tape to make a couple things. Fuck, what were the things I was working on before? I can make more duct tape. Um, oh, you need two duct tape? No, four. Wait. Mm -hmm. Do collector. You need four duct tape and then... Two or three for another thing? I don't remember what it was. There was something else. I'm, I've got a world with Finn that I've been playing on, and I know that there were some things that I needed uh, duct tape for in that world, and they were important, but I don't remember what the other thing was. I might get rid of these rocket launcher parts. I don't think I could ever see me using a rocket launcher. Can I put them? No, I can't put them back in there. Okay, I'm just gonna drop them here. I wanna save as much space as possible. There. And then I'm just gonna hide on this couch. So I can see outside and I have the door right here. <laughs> Although I'd probably prefer to be in that corner. It'll probably freak me out hearing things outside not knowing where it's coming from. So... This this way I can see if like a horde comes by, a tiny little horde, you know? Once it hits nighttime, I'll quit stream and I'll just like run the nighttime off stream and we'll pick it up on day two some other time. I just don't want you guys to have to wait. <laughs> Thank you, Ender John, for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. How was your stream? Sorry, I was getting rid of emails. I get so many, like, duplicate emails for whatever reason. And they're all dookie. Is there somebody outside? <laughs> hey, Ender. Hi, Floobers. Welcome in. I think it was just me walking around, but I want to double check. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Flubers. Welcome to the crew. How you doing? I just want to look around and see if there's any zombies out here. Because if there are, I can get some easy points. Some easy, easy XP. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. Hello? Oh. Hello, sailor. Damn. Dramatic much? All I did was kill you. <laughs> oh, I really wanna... Mm, fuck it. I'm gonna risk it. And I'm gonna run to the trader. What? You bought Seven Days to Die months ago and never played it? Dude, I cannot sing the praises of this game enough. Like, you are asking the wrong person because I will not be objective whatsoever. I love this game. I've had this game... I originally had it on my Xbox. 
and once I got a PC, it was over. I started playing on PC. Xbox version doesn't even get updated anymore. I guess the like, the um the game changed hands, and the new owners just are like, fuck Xbox, we don't need it. Um, PC version though, great. They update it constantly. Um, honestly, to me personally, this is like a really good time to play it because they came out with two pretty big updates uh alpha 20 came out a year ago and alpha 21 came out three months ago um and they changed the water system the skill point system and then the pois the points of interest so like any buildings or any locations they changed all of that um so the water system it used to be that uh these like jars of water that i've got you could refill the jars. You can't do that anymore. Um, you can find dirty jars, like murky water, like dirty water in jars. Um, and you can- Drugs, booze, I've got it all. I didn't ask. <laughs> um, you can like, you can find murky water and you can boil it, but you need this thing, a cooking pot, which you can't make early game. You have to either buy it from one of these traders, like this lady, or you have to find it. I luckily found two early game. Because water is like one of the big scarcities. Um, so they changed that. So now you have to buy either a cooking pot and just live off murky water. Or you buy one of these water filters from the trader. And then you get a bunch of other shit and you make a dew collector. Basically a water collector, like a rain collector. And that's how you get your main water source. If I had a duke for every time someone was just looking, I'd be as rich as Trader Joel. I, I couldn't care less, Jen. Dude, I, I say it every time. I fucking hate Jen. I want Trader Joel back. I want the classic. I want my man. Um, They changed, like I said, they changed the POI systems. They added a shit ton of them. And now um, you won't be able to see it because my music is up in that corner. But in the top right corner and when you walk up to a location... It'll say the name of the location and it'll give you a difficulty level. Uh, one through five skulls. And it's all red skulls. Um, five is obviously the most difficult. Usually it's like based off of the difficulty to clear it. So it'll be higher if there's more zombies, difficult, more difficult zombies, things like that. Like the hospitals are higher, the prisons are higher. Typical like houses are usually one to three. Um... I don't remember any fours off the top of my head. But, uh... What else can I loot here? Oh, the cars. Um... But they also changed it so that when you're in other biomes... Hello, lady! Uh, when you're in other biomes, they add difficulty to it. So, like, if you're in the more difficult biomes, like the desert, the wasteland, or the snow biome, they add these orange skulls to the rating. Because the biome itself is difficult enough. So they're like, we're going to make the locations here more difficult as well. Um, and there's like a bunch of new zombies too. I haven't met too many of them. Um, but they added new zombie models and they changed the animations. They made them a lot better. Like there's a bunch more gore animations. So if anyone's not into gore, this ain't for you. <laughs> um... Like, there's, a, there's, like, a crawler zombie. I don't know what it's actually called, but it crawls around because half its body is gone. And you can see it's, like, um, you can see part of its spine dragging around. And you can see, like, its intestines wiggling around behind it. Um, shit like that. I think it's a really fun game. Um, I'm a big stealth person in this game. I love stealthily, like, sneaking through a house, killing all the zombies without any of them detecting me or noticing. And then clearing out the place. It's really like satisfying to me um and it's also cool because if you sneak throughout the houses uh the devs were really smart and they have these like traps everywhere uh there's mines fake floors fake walls that like zombies can break through or you can fall through into a pit of zombies so if you're like sneaking around like i do you can avoid that shit if you notice it because they usually have like very detectable models <laughs> seriously oh yeah he can't get in here i forgot about that i was gonna open the door and let him come in so i could beat the shit out of him and get some easy xp but i'll have to go out there which is fine can i do it before that yeah okay 
Come on. Come on. Um. And they changed the skill points so that certain things aren't grouped together anymore. If you didn't play the game before, you wouldn't know what they changed with the skill points. It's really not a big change. Um, but it makes it so what you spend your skill points on matters. But at the same time, it's fairly easy to get skill points, in my opinion. Um, because, like, ooh, loot bag. Grave digger mod schematic. Ooh, yucky juice. Let's go. Um... But it's fairly easy to level up, at least in my opinion. Because if you find, like, a couple stragglers like I am right now, that'll give you enough points to get at least halfway. Like, these three alone are getting me a lot closer. Get fucked on, my man. Alright, uh... Yeah, this is definitely... A town, maybe? I don't see any skyscrapers. Thank fuck. Dude, skyscrapers? Terrified. Those are, I think, also level fives. And every floor... Over here? Every, every floor has a shit ton of traps, and typically because it's a harder building, it has the tougher zombies. Um, fuck, what is... Like, the fucking bloater cops and shit? Terrifying. I gotta sleep early tonight, I got stuff to do in the morning. Rough. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you for the raid again. Uh, is there anything else I can get before we go home? Because these places close. So you can't stay here. This is like a safe zone. Zombies can't get in here. But you can't stay here overnight. It, like, the game physically kicks you out. I mean, I can come back tomorrow, but... I really don't need these bones. I already have a bone knife. Yes, another potato. Animal fat and... Yes, dukes. Let's go. The currency in the game is not money. It's casino tokens. So you have to, like, collect these casino tokens. You can sell, um... Any money you find. For some dukes casino tokens. And you can also sell just, like, objects you find. Mm, scrap, I don't know. I'm trying to go fast, because it's officially nighttime at 2200. And that means the zombies can run. And I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to come back in the morning. I'm panicked a little bit. Uh, that way. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think I am going to need a chest at the house, actually. I wasn't planning on making one just because it's... I'm planning on moving to this, like, city anyway, but... I might need one just because my inventory is so full. And I won't even be able to loot a place to live in it. Oh, it's a big guy. He was standing funny. I can't kill him. I don't have the time. I gotta go. I see it. We're almost there. Just a little further. I keep stopping for birds' nests. I want to get more eggs and I definitely need more feathers. I'm such a bow guy. That I, like, I need every nest I can find for all the fucking feathers. Alright, let's just go through this door so we can get inside as quick as possible. I do not want to be caught out here with my pants down. Cool, 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 cool. We are good. <laughs> a little bit stressful for not too big of a reason, but... Okay, let's make a storage chest and just fucking get this shit out of our inventory. Where did I get leather from? Oh, from the shoes.
Magnify that. We're going to put that away because I'm not going to use it and I don't want to fill up my inventory with it. Um, hmm. Maybe the charred meat on me. How much time do I have? Ooh, not enough to cook the water I found. Okay. Park it. And eat a little bit. Not that that makes much noise, but... Let's see how far that gets us. Close to full. That's not bad. We definitely need to find more food. Or, like, more animals. Okay. Drink some water. Good. We should be covered for the night. Ooh. Did you hear that shit? I hate that. It's terrifying. I like that they do it, in case you're not paying attention. But that's terrifying. It is officially nighttime and the zombies can sprint. <laughs> you can change those settings, but that's like the... the um, the default settings are that zombies walk in the daytime, run in the nighttime, and the only exceptions are feral zombies, which are zombies that you'll find with, like, orange eyes. Um, and you can find them, like, anywhere. They'll occasionally- I don't think- I don't know if they spawn outside, but you'll, like, find them in buildings and stuff, and they'll just be sprinting right off the bat. Terrifying, but nothing you can do about it. Okay. So, since it is nighttime, I'm not going to have you guys wait with me. I'm not going to go outside because I don't have the shit to deal with nighttime zombies. Um, but because it's nighttime and I don't want you guys having to wait with me throughout the night, we're going to end stream here. We'll pick this up again um, some other time, probably Monday or Tuesday. Um, and when that happens, we'll probably do the same as we did this stream. We'll do a mix of moist SMP and 7 Day 